tell you um, one of the biggest frustrations that I had was whenever an anti-Semitic incident would happen, the victim was always um, publicized. Um, the attacker, the perpetrator's name and face were often hidden. Um, the punishments were often hidden. And I would always get so frustrated in terms of, well, who did this? What was their motivation? What was their punishment? If there was a punishment. Um, and I wanted to take a more proactive approach. So with our amazingly dedicated social media audience, we slowly um, started becoming the go-to place to submit anti-Semitic episodes. So um, on social media and utilizing that power of social media, we reach millions on a monthly basis and often um, are fed uh, original submissions of anti-Semitism. So what we do is we vet these, um, the information that we receive for accuracy, authenticity. We often um, channel our law enforcement partners we investigate police reports, um, and then we publish what we find on our social media channels. We work a lot with our press partners um, to bring awareness of the incident, to work um, to establish that a sort of accountability is established, and then oftentimes even working with victims um, in terms of finding various channels of communications that they might need, whether that's press, whether that's law enforcement, whether that's, um, you know, they need or their parents may need in terms of if it's a minor, um, any backing with school administration panels, things like that. So I'm still, because of actually more because of the COVID pandemic, I'm still working from home and our various team members are all working remotely as well. Um, but we really utilize the power of social media and digital platforms to create a, an umbrella of unity that we're an organization that you go to submit something that happened to you that's anti-Semitic and we follow up, we investigate, we post on social media, we contact press, we contact employers and schools of those committing to anti-Semitism, and we make sure that there is accountability for those that perpetuate hate against the Jewish people. And those details don't fall align. Um, uh, those details of punishments and um, who's involved and who did it, they don't fall through the cracks and that everyone is aware of the process or as much of the process as we can make public from A to Z. I just, I, I always try to step back and remember myself during that time period about hearing these bouts of anti-Semitism, like, well, who did it? What happened to them? And we're very transparent with these types of things.